Let's have a look at what is happening around Northeast in brief. University Grants Commission and All India Council for Technical Education released a list of 23 fake universities and 279 fake technical institutes across India offering engineering and other technical courses without its permission. Cataract Operation under National Blindness Control Program in Assam's Nagao District Civil Hospital is under fire after 13 elderly patients who had undergone cataract operation under the scheme have reported severe loss of eyesight and infections. National Stock Exchange Academy and Nagaland Board of School Education have joined hands to impart financial literacy in the state by introducing financial literacy course compulsory from 2017 academic session. Joint certificates will be issued to students and teachers under various categories. An indefinite strike called by the Assam Petroleum Mazdoor Union demanding minimum wages and PF as well as employees state insurance scheme among others halted operations at the IOCL refinery in Nunmati, Bongaigao and Numalika refineries which may lead to fuel crisis in the state. Meghalaya Chief Minister Mukul Sangma informed that the state government had increased the salary of teachers by 100% since 2013 and the same would be followed. He also announced construction of Shillong Engineering College and strengthening all the existing 10-bed government hospitals in the state. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal yesterday met the Ambassador of Belgium to India, Mr. Jan Liu, and discussed issues of mutual interest in the field of bilateral trade and investment to collaborate and share their expertise in the fields of inland waterways, dredging and food processing. The CM also urged the Ambassador to provide technical support to make the upcoming sports complexes in Dibrugar and Lakhimpur a world class. In a stunning report, the Bangladesh government informed that several extremist groups have found a safe passage via the border states of West Bengal, Assam and Tripura. Security agencies have been warned of a spike in infiltration of terrorists to India. Deputy Commissioner of Anjo District Arunachal Pradesh has directed all the departments to motivate and change the people's mindset to start their own enterprises by providing technical and motivational support.